Oh. So you're a tough guy, huh? I dare you to watch all the tech news in this video. Think you can handle that? Samsung announced five, that's right, five, not 10, but five, new devices today. And the tech world would have been waiting on the edge of their seats if literally all the new stuff hadn't been leaked in full detail the day before. Which isn't even like the useful type of leak. Like, uh, we get it, Evan, you're very smart and powerful. Thank you for bestowing this information on us 24 hours before we would have gotten it otherwise. Anyway, the devices in question are the Note 20 and 20 Ultra with 120 Hertz screens, a whopping 6.9 inch, nice, screen on the 20 Ultra and a massive rear triple camera bump. It actually is quite big. We also saw the Galaxy Fold 2, which is actually called the Galaxy Z Fold 2 for some reason, with the full size front screen with a punch hole camera on the inside. Okay, that we already saw in the leaks. The foldy part is actually covered by ultra thin glass this time instead of just plastic. So we'll hopefully avoid the whole, honey, I peeled my phone screen off situation that plagued the Fold 1. That was the worst. Then there's the new Galaxy Watch 3, which has an EKG function similar to the Apple Watch Series 5. And the Galaxy Buds Live, which have noise cancellation, but don't have in-air design, which seems problematic and the Galaxy Tab S7, which looks more targeted at the iPad Pro than ever with 120 hertz screens and a pencil-esque S Pen. Say that three times. 120 hertz screens? No, pencil. Oh, pencil-esque S Pen, uh, pencil-esque S Pen, uh, yeah, well, that, that's it. <laughs> oh, and uh, Samsung apparently knows that two years is a little short for guaranteed software support, so they've committed to supporting Android devices for three years now. What? You wanna keep your phone for more than three years? some kind of troglodyte or something like so lame man i upgrade my phone every three days <laughs> it's really annoying i gotta keep transferring my contacts and that's not even all the samsung news today the company has started to make their partnership with microsoft much more tangible with a number of direct integrations between their products there's little things like samsung notes being able to sync to microsoft OneNote, but then there's the ability to run your phone's android apps on windows 10 and you can even pin them to the taskbar. I mean, finally, an easy way to like Instagram photos at work. I know I've been asking for this for years. Yeah, you've been struggling with it. <sighs> Buyers of the Note 20 and Tab S7 will also get three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and a free Bluetooth controller that can also charge your device. And the reason why that actually makes sense is because come September 15th, xCloud streaming will be added for free to Game Pass with over 100 games available. What will you play first? Halo? It'll probably be Halo, right? Probably. What else is there? Eh. Warrior 5. Eh. Oh, Halo 1. Gears Tactics. Forza. We'll get out Forza. Of here, dude. And TikTok's strange saga is still unfolding, with the company now clarifying its terms of use, expanding its fact-checking policies ahead of the U.S. election, and banning the use of deepfakes in an attempt to convince the U.S. government that they can be good boys and girls without being sold to Microsoft or something. We're honestly kind of confused over here, but whether the U.S. wants them sold or not, China isn't about to take that theft of TikTok lying down. But the state-backed China Daily newspaper saying the Chinese government would respond to a forced sale. It's... it's well, uh, we're, we're gonna respond, you better believe it. It's not gonna be an easy negotiation for Microsoft, who has to face questions about an appropriate price for the app and whether it can actually be separated from its owner, ByteDance, when TikTok's developers also work on its Chinese sister app, Douyin. Meanwhile, Facebook has chosen its moment to strike, releasing its TikTok competitor Reels inside the Instagram app. So even if TikTok doesn't survive all this turmoil, you can still go show Mark Zuckerberg that you know how to dance to Doja Cat. Is it Doha Cat? Doja Cat? Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Now it's time for Fast Flashing Pixels, brought to you by Mass Drop X Sennheiser Open Back HD 58X Jubilee Headphones. Tuned by Axel Grell of Sennheiser and Drop based on feedback from the community, these cans feature new 150 ohm drivers and a colorway inspired by the classic HD 580s. They've got a clear, fast, and dynamic sound profile, a glossy black headband, and elliptical air cups with replaceable soft velour ear pads that'll make your ears fall asleep because they're so dang comfy. 
And it's also got a detachable six foot cable. That's actually a great feature. So join the drop at the link below. Fast moving pixels. Apple has refreshed the iMac line with Intel 10th gen processors, AMD Radeon Pro 5000 series graphics cards, more memory capacity, 1080p instead of 720p cameras, finally, and SSDs as the standard boot option. Buy one if you want to test out the new config and Apple's commitment to supporting Intel processors over the next few years. Let us know what you find. Google has officially announced its alternative to Apple's AirDrop. It's called Nearby Share and it will use a number of protocols to accomplish its file broadcasting function. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, WebRTC, weird, but it may work best with ultra-wideband wireless technology, first seen in the iPhone 11 and also featured in Samsung's new phones that we were just talking about earlier. Tell us what photo you're going to use to spam everyone on the bus in the comments below. In other Google news, the company has reportedly stopped storing audio recordings collected from Google Assistant enabled devices and will only store them going forward if customers opt in. I guess I can see that opt in being used by people who want their assistant to be more personalized and exhibitionists who love the idea of someone else hearing all their intimate moments. Not judging. SpaceX conducted the first successful hop of its prototype Starship. And if it looks more like a big garbage can instead of a spacecraft, that's because this is just the propulsion system. Before you know it, we'll be dining on Martian space worms with Elon himself. Mm. Mm, I can just taste them now with a, with a side of Bitcoin. <laughs> and Disney has finally agreed, finally, to release Mulan online instead of in theaters. The movie will debut on Disney Plus on September 4th, but you'll have to pay 30 bucks to see it on top of the subscription fee. <sighs> For that price, are they at least gonna mail you some popcorn and fries covered in melted yellow plastic? You know, a gentleman's cinema treats? <laughs> and a gentleman would never allow this episode to continue. So now, it's over. Come back on Friday for more tech news. If you dare. <laughs>